This makes me claustrophobic just looking at it, to be honest. Hello everyone, I hope you've had a good week. It's starting to warm up here in Australia and I'm so excited. So today I wanna do something a little bit different. I was thinking of building a house, but with a secret. You know, sometimes you walk by houses and you think, I wonder what goes on in there. So my idea was to have a family hidden in the walls. This is something I've been actually wanting to build for probably years now, then I never really got around to it. So I think today's the day, folks. All right, I have also tried this before and it was such a fail. I didn't realize how hard it was to build a house with a family in the walls. Now, if we're saying a family, like I feel like it's gotta be more than one Sim living in the walls. And then the tunnels within the walls that the second family would live in, we kind of have to figure out a way to conceal them. I'm thinking the best way to do that would be having a two-story house and then the tunnels go up and down a floor just so it takes up less space on the one floor. Yeah, maybe we'll do something like this. Make the stairs a double staircase because I feel like that conceals even more that there's a passage behind them. Okay, then it would be obvious if we didn't have a wall here. So we need to definitely have walls across here. And we also have to, it's kind of hard because we've got to make two houses work in one house. Two in one deal, difficult. Well, this is obviously gonna be a bathroom. This can be the entrance hall or the entrance. <laughs> okay, so let's say we have a ladder, I don't know, here that goes up to another secret tunnel over on this side. And then you'd have to get up from a ladder here as well. So then we would have to join these two passageways. Also, where's my staircase gone? That's so weird. The family would be going up the stairs at the same time as the other family. Creepy. They would have to be connected something like this, which is a lot. I don't know. I feel like it's not really working up here. Oh, this is hard. This is a hard challenge. Okay, I'm trying to link up these two hidden rooms. <laughs> oh, how do we do this? It's like a maze. We could go like this, perhaps. Well, what would this look like from the exterior? Well, there would be no point in having these balconies, clearly, because there would be no rooms here. No, this isn't going to work. We have to start again, you guys. I know it's painful, but sometimes builds take more than one go to achieve them. And I'm gonna keep this in the video so you guys can see that. Okay, how about this? So the dark section is the secret house. So you'd have like a bedroom here, that then has a bathroom. And then on the other side, you'd have another bedroom here and a bathroom or ensuite. And then in here, this chunk is secret. So it's kind of tucked behind that staircase. Then we could do a lounge room over here. I was so sold on the idea that going two story would make the most sense for this house or this challenge. But now I just feel like it's gonna make the house so big. Ah, oh, this is still not working. Okay, this is third time lucky. This is gonna be my third attempt at this. This is so hard. All right, so after my two failed attempts, I decided to do this quote unquote off camera, but I accidentally included my face camera. <laughs> so here I am eating a carrot, thinking no one can see me. And a girl is really chewing that carrot. It was a really big carrot. And right now we are building what is going to be the final house. And I decided, you know what? Heck it, I'm just gonna do the shell of a building that looks nice that I like. So I'm just doing a modern build and I'm not even caring about the floor plan at all. And I'm just thinking, you know what? Once this is done, oh, it looks like I'm taking a phone call as well. Uh, once this is done, this is gonna just work. We're just gonna make it work, okay? And this is how it came out. Okay, so I've rebuilt a shell. <laughs> I basically was just like, let's just create a shell that looks cute from the exterior. And this time, third time lucky, we're gonna figure out how the interior works after having done the outside, because we know the outside looks quite good and there's a little bit of room for changes as well if need be. Let's see what we can do here. One section that I'm already looking at and thinking this could maybe be a corridor, a secret corridor is just li this little chunk here. Let's maybe work with that because I was imagining or envisioning that the front door would be right here and then we could have this little, you know what, we could have like a separation wall here. Um, Maybe we could even get away with two tiles. I know it's hard to see, I'm sorry. Like this. 
Let me get some lights in here so we can actually see what we are doing. We'll keep the corridor or the hidden section dark. Okay, so you'd walk in the door. We could have like, you know, a bit of an entrance situation that's a little bit glamorous as well. And then behind this, we could do a bathroom or a kitchen, I think, or a dining has to come all the way out to here. I think we're getting somewhere because this could be bedroom, bathroom, this over here. I'm, I know I'm using glass doors. Don't worry, the glass doors are not gonna be there when we're finished. But this could be the powder room. So like a main bathroom, maybe. Could we fit a round dining table over here? That actually fits quite nicely here. I like that a lot. I mean, maybe this does kind of work well. And then that means that we could have the lounge room over here, blah, blah, blah. Could we even pull this out slightly? Hmm, that's going to create a problem. Although, could we pull all of this out slightly and just go bam like that? What does that look like? You know, it looks fine, except I've sensed this should come out to look a little bit more balanced. Yeah, that'll work. So then this bedroom ends up being bigger, which is not a bad thing. And the lounge room is that little bit more generous. It looks a bit more robust and I think it suits the size of the house more that way. Otherwise it's like leaning on the small side a little bit. This is like our secret passageway area. I do feel like we could just make this into a no-go zone as well because it could just be a block, an aesthetic block on the side of the house. I know it's unusual, but it could be, right? I'm not sure where it would make the most sense to have a ladder, maybe there. Then that would go up to this area where there could be a couple of beds or a bunk beds. And upstairs could be a bedroom on this side. And then, ooh, could we add in a bathroom and a bedroom here? Maybe if we just dug slightly into this, we could. <laughs> um, This is a little awkward upstairs, isn't it? Yeah, we can do it. We can fit two bedrooms up here with a small shared bathroom. And then this area would be hidden right here. <gasps> oh my gosh, I think we, we've, I think we've done it. I think we actually might have done it. Oh my Lord. And then in here, we should make this look like a turtle dungeon downstairs, <laughs> which is terrible, but um, it just makes sense, right? Oh man, it feels good to get the hard stuff out of the way. <sighs> Doing floor plans with a secret passage, I've decided is probably the hardest thing I've done in The Sims 4. This makes me claustrophobic just looking at it, to be honest, or feel claustrophobic. Would not like to be down here. And I don't know how they get into the secret passageway. Maybe they were built into it, which is even more scary. And I suppose it would be maybe just concrete in here or brick, like this brown. Although that's like a nice, brick maybe just like that this is gonna be where the toilet goes and obviously windowless which is a bit sad kind of the usual flooring in i might do a carpeted lounge area because i never do that should we put like wood in here maybe would there be wood or would it just be concrete i guess it depends on how the house was built we'll just do this old wood i think this wood was added in a patch the antique wood flooring love that when you realize we've had things added to the game and we'll do teal bathrooms for a bit of fun i do like a bit of teal a little bit of teal on a friday well friday for me and i've seen comments you guys are asking for a bright build so maybe the next one will do a bright build this one will keep it a little more regular schmegula because this build is already kind of crazy in itself <laughs> But yeah, I'll try and I'll try and get a bright build happening. I've just got to look for some inspiration. The wallpaper I'm using is Tiny Twavelers wallpaper by Felix Andre and Harry. And we are in desperate need of windows and doors. I actually kind of forgot we needed windows and doors. Mm, oopsies. Put some side wall on here. Actually, some of you guys probably don't know this. If you want to paint platforms, you just put half walls on them and then that will allow you to do so. Ooh, it really is starting to look nice. Dang. Let's color block a few of these. Let's maybe do three different wallpapers. Let's do a gray, which I'm doing right now, a stone and potentially a wood. We can do the stone across the front because that's like a standout entrance. I mean, this is a base game classic. 
I really want like a metal, like a metal modern cladding, but we don't really have any in the game. I mean, we could do corrugated iron, but I know whilst this is in a lot of architecture in Australia, I feel like maybe in other places in the world, it would just seem bizarre to you guys. <laughs> I mean, it's used a bit in Australia. Heck, you know what? Let's do something different. Might be interesting if you've never seen this used before on a house. Um, but it, you know, it's around in Australia for sure. Okie dokie. We will definitely be relying on nature to soften this house from the exterior. What if we change the color of them? By the way, these windows are from Get Famous. Yeah. Actually, you know what? That's not looking too bad. What does it look like on the interior though? Again, we'll just lift it up so it doesn't cut into the skirting. Not bad, not bad. Don't have to worry about windows along here. The beauty of having a hidden house in the walls. <laughs> no windows on that side of the house. I am so surprisingly stoked with how this house is turning out. Like it's actually a really nice house apart from the fact that there's, you know, a hidden family in the walls, which is really super duper creepy. Another show I've been really enjoying is She-Hulk. It's just a bit of fun, you know? A bit of cheeky fun. The CGI is a little bit of a shame. Like, I feel like they should have maybe changed up the hair because it looks a little strange. But hopefully over time it gets a little bit more refined. It's still good. Like, I'm still enjoying it. So glad to have gotten into Marvel. I used to never understand it. Like, if you ask James or even Dr. Gluon, I would always be like, I just I just don't really get why you guys like Marvel. It's so bad. And then you know what? What it takes is you to sit down, watch it, appreciate it, and then you understand the hype. Because now I really like it. I just didn't understand, you know? Poor James is like, how could you not understand? I feel like we don't need steps going down here. It just feels obvious that you can step down, you know? Let's do like a regular style of backyard. Oh, this fencing looks a little rough, doesn't it? Uh, I just, I don't know what else to use with a modern build for tall fencing. Like this, you wouldn't have glass. I mean, maybe, but you'd have to be like super wealthy to afford that. At least in Australia you would be. Oh, Snowy Escape works. I remember when I got to build the onsen in Snowy Escape, I got to see that fence early and I was like, ooh, new fence. How could I forget to use it? Because this has taken me so much longer to do than I had anticipated. Like this is the third try. I actually have a important meeting scheduled in 45 minutes. I'm like, oh, am I gonna get this done in time? So it's becoming a speed build, like not a speed build, but a build where it's speeding through. When I have trees in a backyard that just look lonely, I always get this low-lying pale yellow flower bush and like scatter them around. And then if you're really trying hard, you then just put a couple of rocks around the place too. And heck, maybe we'll even put a little daisy bush or something. Yeah, there we go. Wait, did that say Australian flower? Oh no, azalea flower. I thought it said Australia flower. I was like, shout out. That's pretty. And you know, I think for a minimal backyard, that's kind of all you need. Like, yeah, that's good. Imagine if you bought this house and then discovered the secret rooms. What would you do? Actually, we did know someone who leased out their house and let's just say they found something after a tenant left, they found something like within their floorboards, a substance that they were selling. Um, so they had to like get the popo to come round and they had to disclose it. And there was a lot to, these things happen. Also, this table is by Tuds, the end table, and it's really pretty. There's also this version too. And then I'm just gonna put it with this base game chair. And I'm definitely feeling like we need some kind of pendant here. Round tables deserve a pendant above them. It's just how nature designed aesthetic to be. <laughs> I don't, that doesn't even make sense. Let's do this eco lifestyle one. That's pretty cool. I also feel it as though we could do a feature wall right here. Do we want to continue the stone look? Ooh, that is pretty. Let me do a little bit of a... Oh, but then again, that doesn't make as much sense because there's metal on this side. But if we go like that, that looks a bit rough. We'll just do a black wall. We'll make it very minimal. 
I know, I, next build will do colorful. I just gotta figure out what style of colorful, like is it gonna be maximalist? Is it gonna be, I'm just gonna use this Oak House print by PRSM. I really love this plant from Paranormal Stuff. Like this is such a nice uh, feature vase. I just wish it was sized down and sat on top of objects because it's actually meant to go on the floor. But it's very pretty to put inside like this. I still think it would be so funny to have a death by no railing. <laughs> like for The Sims, obviously. Ooh, counters. I get excited when we're using CC because it means we get awesome kitchen counters. Ooh, what should we do? These are probably too exciting for this house as much as I love them. Let's use these from Tuts. Now I've used these a lot because they're really good. The bean kitchen. Oh, look at these ends. Dang, whoa, pretty. Let's, I think we just need a single actually because they look very streamlined. If you ever get nervous about using custom content and it not looking like it's The Sims, like it's not Max's match enough for you, you can always just use like CC sparingly and put it with Max's stuff. Like we're using a table, and kitchen counters, but like the chairs, the rug, the lights, they're all Maxis. And so it's a little less risky, I guess. Or you might not mind and just go to town with CC anyway. I'm gonna use a couple of MCM shelves by PRSM again, just to kind of keep it within the same creators, make it easier for you guys if you wanna download the house. The main reason why I like using shelves by CC creators is because it's easier to stack things on them. Whereas I feel like a lot of the Maxis shelves they don't hold many objects and then it just ends up looking really weird because you just got all of these random things on it like tissue boxes so yeah, i'll just use pots and stuff from the beam kitchen just because it's the same pack it's nice and easy nice looking good let's go with our classic dream home decorator modular couch and i like the orange because it ties into these outside chairs I have to say, I do like the color of. I really like that pattern on them. It's a bit of fun. Should we do a U shape? U shape or L shape with armchair? That is the questions. We go like this on both ends. Does that look good or does that look weird? That looks kind of cool. I'd sit on it. Uh oh, but can we fit a table in the middle? Oh, uh, looks a little. I don't know. Maybe we'll just do the regular corners. This is the object I use the most at the moment. It's from that plant kit. That was an awesome kit. I really like that kit. I know a lot of people don't like kits and that's fine. I understand why, I can appreciate why, but I really like that plant. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a good plant. These are MCM paintings. I think the bathroom's going to be pretty straightforward. We have a bit of teal though, which is fun. That's the fun part of the bathroom, or the bathroom, we like to say. Sometimes I feel like when I take a break to go do something else and then I come back to furnishing a build that's half furnished, sometimes I feel like I start furnishing in a different style. And I'm like, girl, you gotta, you gotta keep it together. Uh, these bedside tables I really like. These are from the Sleek Slumber Pack by Little Dicker. Like now I'm kind of going more natural and colorful. By the way, this is by far my favorite lamp in The Sims 4. Also, it's kind of weird having different sized windows, but then again, I kind of like it. I kind of like weird things like that when things don't really match perfectly. I think with the curtains, it kind of makes them go together more. Oh, we're gonna struggle with curtains, aren't we? <sighs> Maybe we're better off doing just blind size down because they're kind of the same picture. I can't put them on the wall. I need that mod again where it like, whose mod was it? I think it's a Ravishane mod where it just picks the height of things or it doesn't clip to the window. Oh, here we go. It's just off center though. That's going to really annoy me. Okay, maybe we do need the same, <laughs> do need the same window. Can you marry like objects and games and stuff? Like obviously it wouldn't be illegal marriage but surely there's a website or a company that lets you like marry objects you love because that's a thing you know i've seen things on tv that can happen and i was just thinking well 
maybe I would marry my Sims game if I could. Like for real. So maybe we just want one wall to be the red. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Actually, I don't think we really need this dresser because we've already got the wardrobe over here. Do another one of these paintings, but obviously make it a different one. Oh my gosh, I was trying so hard to speak them, but I'm what I'm trying to say, I'm so excited is that I love this painting harmonizing with the rusty orange color, that like muted blue looks stunning. Oh, this is looking so good, you guys. I feel as though we need a nice armchair on the corner here. Seeing as though we're going with the brown, browny color, brown. You know why I'm speaking like that. Oh, also we never changed this door. It's still glass. That there. Although I'm not a huge fan, I know a lot of you guys are. You guys would definitely have a TV in your room if you can, or probably do. This is actually such a nice room. What the heck? How did this come to be so nice? Sometimes colors just work together. That's why I wanna do a more colorful build because I want to experiment and push myself. Push, I say. Okay, well, that's beautiful. That's a lovely, a lovely room. I mean, I don't know about this painting though. We could probably do better. Part of me actually just likes like the pink on the orange, which I know is a little different, but I'm about it. Do we like the orange in this couch though? The thing is, if we do black, it's a little bland, right? But if we change this to wooden floor, did the black, we could then put a nicer rug underneath. I don't know, I'm just not feeling the orange since coming back with fresh eyes in this house. I think it's because the wood was like a dark brown and I like that in that room, but not in this room. We could keep an element of orange though, so it ties in with the outside still. So let's use this sleek slumber rug by Little Dicker. Oh, it's not quite the right orange, is it? Although it still kind of ties in with the outdoors. You know what? I like it. I like it. Some of you guys will prefer what we had before, but that's okay. We can all like different things. This room can be like a kid's room or a teen's room, but like the kid of whoever lives here. Uh, the poor kids probably have no idea there's a family in between the walls and they probably hear lots of like bumps during the night and they're like, well, maybe not during the night. Hold on, where are you going with this, Deli? But you know, like bumps in the walls during the day or night. A teenage is actually, and like preteens actually a lot more sophisticated than say I was when I was a teenager. Is that actually a thing or does it just feel that way? Because I swear teenagers these days and preteens dress and look so much more sophisticated than I used to. And I'm trying to figure it out. Like what happened? <laughs> does it mean in like 20 years time, five-year-olds will start looking like they're 15? It's a seriously scary thought. We've got their desk. Okay, well, this is this is a child child now because they have a craft table or we could have two kids in the one room. One's a teen, one's a child. This is a really cute shared room. You know, growing up, my sister and I, we, I don't know if we ever shared a room. I guess when we were really little, we probably did. Um, but I think I might have had a room from when I was five years old. So I didn't really do the sharing thing. So I think it was as I got older, maybe my parents had less money as I got older. Cause I feel like I was living the, the high life as a kid having my own room. I, I think there's definitely a benefit to sharing a room with siblings. Like I have cousins who've shared a room and I think they've really enjoyed it. Like it's been a really nice thing. Do we want to do blue in here? Or is that too matchy matchy? Let's go the orange. <laughs> Wait, is that the same bed as downstairs? No, it's not. It's okay. Does anyone pronounce it orange? <laughs> kind of sounds like orange. 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 Hi, my name is Orange. So the idea is with this curtain, I know it doesn't quite look right, but I want it to look like it can... You know what, we'll just put it over the window. No, the window is so cute. I want it to look like it can slide across, but it doesn't really look that way. What about that? Yeah, that's better. Love, these are my favorite drawers. Little Dicker specialty. Uh, we can't really put them closer to the door, but what we can do is put a mirror here instead. It's very good and important to have a full length mirror, I feel. Okay, for me it is. <laughs> I do feel like this is an adult's room or someone staying or a guest room. I don't know, but then you'd think you'd give the kids their own room instead of having a guest room. Maybe, maybe not. I suppose it depends. 
Okay, now we get to do the fun part. Secret house time. Yay! I don't know why I'm so excited because it's going to look so icky, but that's fun. We like making icky things. All right, well, we're obviously going to have a weird looking toilet. Or not a weird looking toilet, but like an industrial one. They still get toilet paper though, hello. So we have that. And I mean, that's... <laughs> That's about all we can do in here. Although I'm pretty sure, can you shower over the toilet? Is that a thing? Can you go like, ooh, I've forgotten. We could always go like this too. Actually, that will work, I think. I think that'll work. Hmm, a little risky. But anyway, let's say that's the bathroom. And what do they need to survive? The basics, bed, kitchen, something to do. Well, I think the bed could, probably fit up here or a bed can also fit here the more i think about this hidden house inside of a house like the more creeped out i get about it like i i feel kind of this feels wrong <laughs> mm, this bedding looks too nice we can have fridge oh this is a tight squeeze i forgot that this is actually kind of hard too well the most room will probably be the kitchen now hmm but do we want more beds? Like how many Sims can we fit into this little nook? The other thing is we don't have a sink down here, which is a bit of a problem. Oh, Ooh, I just realized I forgot about the entrance. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, back to creepy room. We really need a basin in here. You know what? This is gonna have to go upstairs. Kitchen up here, basin down here. Ha! Potential. <laughs> issue of having to go downstairs to wash dishes but i feel like there wouldn't be a computer because that would allow online access it's very sad but we could have a bookshelf we can put an easel here because you could have sims locked in here painting to make money i'm not saying it's a good idea but it's a possible idea so that's fun the bookshelf's fun i do feel like they need a smoke fire alarm in here which i know would be strange because you'd hear it going off in a, in the walls i'd be like why do we have a fire alarm in the walls now my idea was to kind of have the kitchen wrap like this you know what we might be restricted having the mini bar fridge so maybe we have a full-size fridge i think the sims may be able to cook here maybe slightly unsure though you know what, I changed my mind. I don't think they can. It could go like this, oh my gosh. I do not know how the plumbing would work in this situation, but <laughs> apparently it works. Maybe it goes down in these little pipes. Okay, I'll do a half wall, because otherwise it just looks silly. Okay, so we've done that. And then the there was the idea of having one more bed, because then you could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you could have eight Sims in this house. It's kind of crazy. Oh no, it doesn't quite fit. Hmm. Dang it, I thought it would. I don't know why I thought it would, but I thought it would. Could we bear to ex... Oh no, I don't think... Oh, we could extend this out. All we'd have to do is kind of make another one of these and bring that to there. Lucky we left a little bit of room for improvement. Cause I reckon this will work. Okay, just to be safe, I might push it all the way back. <laughs> just to be safe. And no one will ever know. Oh yeah, that still looks, that actually looks more interesting having that part of the house. Oh no, it's gonna mess up this though. Mm That's okay, we'll just paint this. A little cheeky, but a little cheeky's okay. Which means then we can put a couch under here. Oh, actually a wardrobe might be better. That might make more sense. We should put a future cube in here. <laughs> Cause when you're just like inside for days on end, you can be like, well, at least I can think about all the different futures I could one day have when I get out. A future cube in there. And if you wanna get your Sims into this area, you're going to need to put testing cheats enabled on. And then that way you can right click and teleport or shift click and teleport them in. I think we'll complete it with a few scratches and that. And we might even be able to squeeze a little table on the end too. There we go, a little dining area. That might not work here. Okay, so this is a perfect family home with a little secret in between the walls. <laughs> Yay! I want to play a test it though. So let's move a family in. And I've got just the family. 
Okay, I know it's looking a bit dreary, but we've got Samaj. It's James Turner, and then Delhi is between the walls. Now, I put myself here because I couldn't bear to trap uh, James inside this space. Despite me being claustrophobic, I would do it if it meant he didn't have to go. I'm such a good girlfriend. All right, so let's have a look at the house. We'll go in. Wow, very nice. I mean, it, in all fairness, it kind of does look like a house James would happily live in. Like it's nice, clean, modern, minimal. He'd change a few things, but you know, he wouldn't mind it. So we have the Tud's kitchen, very nice. Uh, gorgeous lounge room, very simple, very simple. We've got a little bathroom. Oh, actually, no, it's a full bathroom in there. Big pot plant though. Plant pot, sorry. Then you go in here, love the bedroom. I just like the colors in here. I think it's just nice. It's very calming and earthy. Then in here, we have the teal bathroom. Todd counters as well, love that little toilet nook. And you know what? I don't even know where the hidden family is at this stage. It all looks legit to me. Let's just check out the backyard sliding door here. We got a few uh, little entertainment areas. Nice uh, backyard, do with it what you will. We'll go upstairs. Wee! Uh, typical James at his computer. That's probably where he is right now, actually. In here is a lovely double guest room, whatever room, wardrobe, ready for anyone. And here is the upstairs bathroom. And just down the hallway, the kids' room. Very cute, very fun, very happy space, which definitely does differ to what lies behind the walls. Dun dun da. And this is the bedroom in here. Deli. Oh, you're playing games. Nice. Okay, well, that dining table works. I just, in a second, want to play a test and make sure Deli can get, or Deli Sim can get to all the areas. Because down here, this is where the other <laughs> beds are. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. And then we have another sink. We've got a, few, a fun area. Look how fun it looks. Can Deli get to everything she needs? You can get to the bed. Cool. Change an outfit. Deli can change an outfit. Okay, okay. Can I'm a little bit nervous about this. Can you get some chicken nuggies? <gasps> Deli can. Okay. Let's try a second chair. I feel like this may not work. Serve brunch. Can you do that? Oh, oh my. I think we might be able to get this to work. Oh my lord. You can. You can. Wow. Okay. Time to climb down now. There's a lot of ladders. At least I'd help you stay fit. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Look, she can go right downstairs. She can then get a book. Now the last thing to play a test is can you use the toilet and can you take a shower? Hey, you can read on the toilet. I have to say, I do not read on the toilet. I'm very quick when I go. That fiber vegetable diet. Can you take a shower? Oh, well done. We've made it work, people. We have made. The impossible work, and would you ever think there was something here on the side of the house? I feel like you would hear people in the walls, but, or Sims in the walls, but I don't. Yeah, you'd probably wonder, hey, what's on this side of the house in the upstairs portion? The downstairs is pretty well concealed, I feel. And of course, you just need to turn on testing cheats, true cheat, and then shift click to teleport a sim into here, or of course you could just build in a temporary ladder or door. So just build a temporary door and then delete it. That's another way of doing it. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see or ideas that you have. Um, yeah, let me know. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. Have a good weekend. Bye, Dark Dark.